That's a very interesting topic that has a lot of debate, both historically and archaeologically. And then, of course, you get into the social economics of, of today's time and, and, and whatnot. And so I'll, I'll try to cover a few quick ideas. One, we do believe, most ostrich do believe, that our ancestors may have used um, hallucinogenic drugs of one type or another to breach some type of spiritual or, or communication with the gods or the ancestors or, or the land whites. Um, it wasn't common place, but we do believe it was done. We have certain historical and archaeological evidence that suggests it. There are groups of extremists today, and I do consider them extremists because it is not the mainstream belief, um, who do believe, again, that you can use certain mind-altering drugs to help you reach more of a higher plane of knowledge and communicate with the gods or the ancestors or the land whites. Again, that is not the mainstream belief, though. Um, and then when it comes to, is it morally okay? There is no moral aspect in a Asatru or heathen worldview, both spiritually or, you know, day-to-day -day life kind of worldview that really says one way or another. There, there was nothing to say that it was bad to use a drug. Um, they were very accepting of drugs, both for medical and medicinal purposes and for recreational purposes, although it still was never a commonplace thing. There's nothing to suggest that everybody did it. But there's also nothing to suggest that anybody didn't do it or that it was a big deal if somebody did do it. More, the focus seems to be on abuse of things. It was bad to abuse things in general, anything you were abusing, you know, whether it be drugs or whether it be alcohol, which is a common thing that's constantly talked about is the abuse of, of alcohol. Daily consumption is fine. Everyone should do this. But you know what? If you're always getting drunk, then you're always out of control, and that's not a very good thing. And so that would be the common view of it today. I think the common person could really care less, the common Asatru or heathen, whether somebody uses a recreational drug once in a while or here or there. I, we probably view it the same as consuming a beer, really. But if you're doing it all the time, if it's affecting your life in any way, if it is adversely affecting your life in any way, then now, it become, now it's a problem. Now it's, it's a disease. Now it's something that is hurting you rather than just a recreational thing or something you do. And which brings up the next aspect of that. Well, if the drug's illegal, then even its recreational use once in a while is still causing you harm because Asatru people are all, also very much law oriented to the law of the community. So if you're doing something illegal just because you think it's fun, you're risking everything that you've worked for in your regular day-to-day -day life just to do something that's fun. That's kind of stupid. So most Asatru are like, oh, you're going to be doing kind of stupid things. That's probably not a good thing that you keep doing that. 